Have you ever wondered why we use the QWERTY keyboard and not an A, B, C, D, E, F keyboard or a keyboard with differently arranged letters? For something that is essential to our computers and phones and plays an important part in our everyday lives, little is truly known about how the QWERTY keyboard came to be quite so ubiquitous. This is the story of how the QWERTY keyboard became the dominating keyboard letter arrangement in the world. It isn't exactly clear how the QWERTY keyboards came into existence with technology historians and keyboard enthusiasts all pointing to different stories and sources. But out of the many theories out there, there are three main competing stories that attempt to explain how we ended up with the QWERTY keyboard. The first theory goes, in the olden days mechanical typewriters could jam if people hit the keys too quickly. So a plan was made to put common letters far apart from each other in order to slow down typists so their typewriters wouldn't jam as they were typing. But this story is the least likely to be true because the QWERTY keyboard puts the E directly next to the R. This is an efficient way to organize those letters because ER is the fourth most common letter pairing in the English language. So if the goal was to slow down typists, the ER letter arrangement would defeat that purpose. Hence why the story is largely considered untrue or insufficient in regards to how we got the QWERTY keyboard. Among the first people to use typewriters were telegraph operators. They needed to quickly transcribe messages. However, early typewriters had an alphabetical letter arrangement, which the telegraph operators found to be confusing and inefficient for translating Morse code. Over time, the QWERTY keyboard arrangement evolved as the result of direct input from telegraph operators. This story explains the emergence of the QWERTY keyboard as not a silly way to slow down typists, but rather quite the opposite, as a way to make typists type faster. This story seems to be the one that has the most support and the one Wikipedia cites as being the most credible. As opposed to the QWERTY keyboard emerging from the input of telegraph operators across several years, this story posits that the QWERTY keyboard was invented by Christopher Scholes in the early 1870s. In October 1867, he filed a patent application for a writing machine he had developed. The first model was a piano-like keyboard with two rows of alphabetically arranged characters. Through a period of five years, using trial and error, he came up with a letter arrangement that was close to the modern day QWERTY keyboard in order to perfect his writing machine. In 1873, he sold the manufacturing rights of his typing machine to E. Remington and Sons. Remington made several adjustments, creating a keyboard with essentially the modern QWERTY layout. The QWERTY layout became popular with the success of the Remington No. 2, the first typewriter to include both upper and lower case letters. Competing companies began copying the Remington design, which further popularized the QWERTY keyboard. Which one of these stories do you think is likely to be the truth? Personally, I'm inclined to believe a mixture of the last two stories. I think Christopher Scholes was the first person to patent the QWERTY keyboard, but he got the inspiration from already existing keyboard letter arrangements that had been the result of input from typists of the time. He simply tweaked this arrangement to arrive to what we know today as the QWERTY keyboard. Regardless of how the QWERTY keyboard came to be, it has been the undisputed champion of keyboard arrangements, except for the one time it almost got replaced. Many keyboards have been invented that claim to provide faster typing speeds than the QWERTY keyboard, the most prominent being the Dvorak keyboard. The Dvorak keyboard was invented by Augustus Dvorak in 1936. The major feature of Dvorak's keyboard was that the most commonly used letters were in the home row, which he argued would reduce a user's finger movement as compared to the traditional QWERTY keyboard. Experiments at the time showed that users could type faster on Dvorak's keyboard, but those users were trained in Dvorak typing, so it didn't give Dvorak a competitive edge with regular users. The QWERTY keyboard, when it came to popularity, was the only one of its kind. This meant that all typists were trained in QWERTY, which became the norm. 
by the time Dvorak entered the market, people were so used to QWERTY that it would have been difficult for people to change. In the 1980s, Microsoft and other computer companies standardized the QWERTY keyboard, leading to almost all PCs shipping with the QWERTY keyboard. This popularity would later see the creation of phones that featured the QWERTY keyboard, which eventually led to the digital QWERTYs we use today.